Did you know that there are many different types of cruising throughout the industry? The most commonly known, you may suspect, is ocean cruising. Of course, there are also river cruises, and there may be more river cruises than you may imagine. But of course, those take place on much smaller ships and are very different than ocean cruising. But there's also expedition cruising, which is altogether different than both ocean and river cruising. And this can take place on both the ocean or a river. So what exactly is the difference, you may wonder. Well, let's take a moment to explain the difference in expedition cruising and both ocean and river cruising. The ships for expedition cruising that go to the polar regions typically are rated for breaking ice. This is an important distinction that keeps you safe on your adventure. Expedition cruising also fully immerses you within your destination habitat and the wildlife that surrounds it. So you have the opportunity to take part in lectures uh, by, and these lectures are given by experts, of course, uh, in various fields. You have the opportunity to go out on Zodiac boats, go ashore for wildlife viewing and excursions, and you can learn even more about the destination than you could ever imagine. So let's put it into perspective. Let's talk about Antarctica, um, for example. Expedition cruising is the only cruise that allows you to set foot on Antarctica. Now, of course, there are other ocean cruises that sail past and you'll be able to see some wonderful views and gorgeous sights and of course, some wildlife, hopefully, um, but it's not the same. You actually don't set foot on, an, on Antarctica on an ocean cruise. And there's many reasons for that, but there are actually limits, for example, on how many people can be on Antarctica at any given time. So only 100 guests are allowed to be on land at any given time. So these expedition ships have, a much smaller guest count on board, usually between 100 and 300 people. So it actually allows you to go out onto a Zodiac and go and actually set foot on Antarctica um, for a once in a lifetime opportunity. Now, there are some other differences going ashore. There's nothing in and nothing out, so you can't leave anything on, on shore. Anything you bring in, you have to carry out, um, and you can't take anything from Antarctica. So no rocks, no shells, no dirt, um, no extra souvenirs. Um, and the other difference is that when you actually get back onto the ship, um, there's a thorough cleaning process to clean off the boots that they have on, on that you can borrow and things of that nature. The itinerary is also not set in stone on an expedition cruise. Unlike most cruises where you have a very specific itinerary, expedition cruises actually allow the captain some freedom to go where they want and maximize your experience while keeping you safe. Some expedition cruise lines will send out scouts to find the best area to see wildlife, while others will take you on a once in a lifetime opportunity to show you something that they just encountered. For example, earlier this season, an expedition cruise actually discovered a new type of penguin. That could be you. So where do these expedition cruises go? You may be surprised. Of course, one, one area is Antarctica, but there are many other places that expedition cruises go. They go to the Arctic, the Great Lakes, South America, Panama, Alaska, Galapagos Islands, the British Isles, all over Europe, the Caribbean, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Svalbard, which is pretty far up north, if you're not familiar, uh, the Mediterranean, the Amazon River, the Mekong River, and even the Zambezi River in Africa. 
There are many others, of course, and cruise lines continue to add more. So my question to you is, where would you like to adventure? As you can see, there are many differences in not only the types of cruises, but in the destinations. And this is a very different way to see the world. So next time that you're thinking about cruising or taking a vacation, give an expedition some serious thought and create some life-changing memories in the process. Who knows? You might learn a thing or two in your next adventure. Until next time, keep loving your adventure. Bye now.